All right, so I'd like to uh, answer a question here today. A lot of people are asking in the Facebook group, how do we get rid of the page title? They're building a new theme, a uh, new site with theme maker, and they can see they always have the uh, famous page title that is appearing. So pretty simple. I have a brand new plain website right there. In fact, you can see I called it plain. <laughs> so I do have theme uh, maker install, but since I didn't apply any template or anything, as you can see, it is pretty plain, <laughs> as I mentioned. So let me just show you the problem that some people are facing. Well, everybody is facing, of course, if you do it like that. So, uh, whoops, sorry, I need to view the page. So, people want to get rid of that title here at the top where we have the title, the author, and the date. And this is correct. This is all right to have that. By default, any theme will post the title and so on, the title of a post or the title of the page by default. Not necessarily the author and date though, as we have here, but this is simply part of the uh, default PHP code that we have in ThemeMaker and that's okay. That's okay. But if you want to get rid of that, I'm just going to show you how. So first of all, you need to understand that ThemeMaker works a little bit differently than your usual theme. You work with templates. So by default, when you install ThemeMaker, it does come with a template, the default template. If you open that, you will see that the default template is empty. So it doesn't do anything right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, it, it does use that template, by the way, but of course, uh, we need to do a couple of things. So I'm going to insert a row like I just did, and I'm going to insert an element inside of that. And my element will simply be the content. So no matter what I have in my page, I'm going to use the content placeholder there. You can give it an element title if you want to. And this is where you can decide what you want to show in that content. So do you want to add the post editor? This is the title. And by the way, when you mouse over that little question uh, bubble there, you will see what it stands for. So if you want to add the post editor, if you want to add the feature image, for example, if it's a post, it's not a post in my case, uh, but you, you might want to hide the feature image or not. Uh, the post footer, the author profile, and I want to have that and so on. So the post editor already has the post author date. So post author profile is at the bottom. So you might want to turn everything to yes if you want to make sure. I know that these will not show in my particular case, but again, if you really want to make sure that you don't have anything else, you can turn everything to on. I'm going to save that. And now, even if I save my page and refresh here, you will see that nothing will change. That's simply because it doesn't take that default theme or default template by default. So what I need to do is to come here and check that default. So all the pages will use that default template by default. Of course, if you want to build another page later on and use something else, you can always check it. You can check more than one thing, by the way. But now all the pages, all the posts will use that default one. So if I click Save now and I go back to refresh my page, now you can see that my title and my author date, so on, everything is gone. And of course, I could have some padding here at the top, some padding or margin at the top here because there's not much space. But depending on the content that you insert, of course, you might do that directly there as well. So let's say, for example, 20 here. And all my content will have a 20 padding at the top. Oh, sorry, it didn't work. Okay, so that's because of my black bar here. So that's why I don't see that. Let me open that in a new incognito window where I don't have my uh, bar at the top. And okay, so I don't see my, my top here. That's probably because of the content. So so just check and this is what can happen when we do a live video. So, uh, okay, here, 
seems that anything that we put into content here for the spacing and so on, even if I put 500, it doesn't take that into account. And that's probably just because it's using the general interface of the builder, but those elements are not taken into account on the content setting, uh, the content element itself. So, but if I want to have the spacing, I can go into my row and there I can put the space that I wanted. For example, on the padding top here. So let's say I want a padding top of 20. Then this will work as expected. Sorry, this is a previous test that I did. So as you can see now I have a padding of 20. And of course I can put more than that. So this is how you would do that. The most important thing is use the content. If you want to put some spacing, then put it on the row itself. Or you can put directly on each element, of course. So this is how you would build a template to remove the uh, title and dates. So hope this is useful. Thank you.